Hello, Veto121 here. Welcome, and this is my new Let's Play. I'm not going to be playing the game in Dutch. I'll be playing it in English. Uh, I am playing the PAL version of um, this game because uh, it's the g version of the game that you can use the sound patch with, or, or it's a version of the game that the sound patch is written for. Because I am using a music patch for this version of the game. And this game is very underrated, and, uh, yeah, it's been 20 years since it was originally released, so, why not, right? I need a break from Final Fantasy 2, so I'm going to start this game. This is a much better game anyways, but, eh, I will get back to Final Fantasy 2, whatever. I'm fucking burned out on that game already. The game is pissing me off. But, um, this game, however, very awesome. I'm not going to get sick of playing this one, that's for sure. And with the uh, GBA, there's a little added demo, if you will. So I figured I might as well show it. Yeah, the uh, the music tracks sound a lot more like their SNES counterparts. Um, it doesn't sound exactly like the SNES. I mean, it still doesn't sound as good as the uh, quality of the SNES sound chip, but it sounds much better than the GBA uh, with the sound patch. So the only reason I'm playing the GBA version is because of um, all the bonus stuff, the added bonus dungeons, which I've actually heard are quite good, so looking forward to it. This game has a job system, so basically you get four characters that you play with throughout the game, however you can customize them however you want with the, uh, with the jobs. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And with this music patch, I actually start out with some weird orchestral piece. Uh, for this beginning part here, which, uh, in my opinion, doesn't really fit, but, oh well, that's just part of it, I guess. The patcher thought it was a good idea to include the, uh, Tokyo London Symphony, or I don't, I don't even know which symphony did this part, but, um, he decided to put it in the game, I guess. I don't know, I, I don't think it's a very good idea, to be quite honest with you. Especially since I was having sinking issues, but I think I fixed the sinking issues. Yes, this is one of the main characters, Lena. And her father is King Tycoon. Wind shrine, huh? Okay. He flies away in a dragon towards the uh, the wind shrine. Ooh, a pirate ship. Another one of the main characters there. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. What in blazes? Oh no. The crystal exploded. Ah, yes. A man in his chocobo. So yeah, uh, this character here, he's kind of a, like an outdoorsy journeyman type guy. Uh oh. Holy crap, look at that. Yeah, that's actually supposed to be a meteorite. In case you can't tell by the graphics. Run away! <laughs> I love how the chocobo's ass shakes when he runs. But yeah, this is the, uh... Four Valiant Warriors theme we're hearing here on the overworld. It's the first of three overworld themes that they have in this game. So they have different overworld themes depending on uh, the point in the game, actually. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but let's check out this meteor. This is the Tycoon Meteorite. Alright. Wait there, Poco. Holy crap. Hey, it's that girl from earlier. Yes, this is our first battle and we're gonna fight some goblins. Nothing too special about these guys. This theme playing right here is amazing, is the Lana theme. One of my favorite themes in the game. But I'm probably going to say that a lot because this game has a ton of great themes. And yes, in the original fan translation of this game for the Super Famicom, uh, the translator screwed up and they actually defaulted this character's name to Butts, which I thought was hilarious. But yeah, this character's name is Bartz. I'm going to keep it the default. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah, hold on a second. You're not gonna go alone. You're a girl. You can't travel alone. Oh. Ugh. Help me. Oh hey, it's that old man who was all distraught earlier. Oh my aching head! Sakes alive, what happened? I don't remember. Hey, I can't remember anything! Oh, amnesia, of course! Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without amnesia. Oh, except he remembers his name. So yeah, this character's name is Galuf. Other than that, my memory's a blank slate! 
she uh, added to the uh, Game Boy Advance version of the game, they added, um, well, character portraits, I guess, for the dialogue. So that's kind of cool. They didn't have that in the original Final Fantasy V. Uh, you were headed there, huh? Oh. Okay. I could never let such a sweet girl go out by her lonesome. Plus, I know I've got to get to that shrine. I feel it in my bones. You gotta take me with. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course. Be a loner, Bartz. Yeah, Scott Speed and all that whatnot. But uh, anyways, this is the main menu. As you can see, uh, in this game you don't have character portrait portraying the character because, uh, well, there's a job system in this game and when you get jobs then your character's appearance changes depending on the costume, so that's why they didn't do that for this game. As you can see, you got your items and your rare items and, uh, magic menu and there's different types of magic. You have white, black, time, summon, spell, blade, blue, and songs. We'll go over more of those later. Uh, your equip menu where you can equip, unequip, unequip all and optimize your equipment although I do not recommend optimizing your equipment I recommend doing it manually because a lot of times equipment in this game have special effects that the game doesn't tell you about and uh, just because it has better defense doesn't mean it's a better piece of equipment um, for example an elven cloak is a great example once I get one of those um, yeah, that's your status screen. Config menu, okay, battle mode weight, yeah, I'll turn the battle speed up just a little bit. I don't want this ATB gauge on. I don't want optimize on. I want remember on. I don't like auto dash. Window color. Yeah, not, not as much blue. This should look okay, I guess. But anyways, now that I'm done screwing around in the menu, let's, uh scout around a little bit. There's a secret oh, secret passage. And if you come over here you can get a chest. They Phoenix Down. Now Phoenix Downs are actually fairly expensive in this game. So when you get one, um well that's a good thing. Use them sparingly. Especially until you get the life spell. So yeah, similar to Final Fantasy 3 in that regard. Where uh, Phoenix Towns are pretty valuable. They're, they are pretty expensive in this game. They're like a thousand gil apiece. So at the beginning, it's kind of hard to purchase them. And, uh, come on. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm going to take a little pause and be right back. Alright, just needed to check on a few things there. And, you know, I decided finally, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, to actually buy a pop filter for my headset microphone because I've noticed in a lot of my videos there's a lot of popping and breathing going on, you know. Sometimes I take a deep breath and exhale suddenly it, my microphone picks it up and it's pretty annoying so I'm gonna get a pop filter to try and mitigate most of that shit because I'm sure you guys probably find it annoying. I find it annoying too. Uh oh So, um, yeah. We're about to be, uh, swallowed by a fucking earthquake, huh? Yeah, we're gonna fight some more goblins. Wait a minute. Didn't I change some of this crap? I don't know. 
I don't know what I was thinking there. Whatever. <laughs> I thought I turned the ATB kit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought I turned that off. Off. <laughs> okay. I could have sworn I turned that off, didn't I? Oh well. Good morning. Yeah, that's two Yolas, princess. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay, so Bartz decides to help him anyways. Okay. Great. Dying wish that I go out and try... Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll actually learn more about Bartz's dad later on in the game, but yeah, right now it's not really explained. <laughs> Yeah, and so do you, Gallif. <laughs> I like the dialogue in the GBA version here. It's pretty good. It's a lot better than the uh, PS1 version. I couldn't actually finish the PS1 version. Too much stuff about the PS PS1 version annoyed me. So I never actually played all the way through it. And yes, we're going to hear the Ahead on Our Way theme. Which I guess is like the main theme of Final Fantasy V, I guess. Alright. Sounds like these quakes are uh, responsible for a lot of things. All right, so we're in a random cave, or we're in a yeah, it's just called cave. But anyways, we're hearing Fate and Haze, which is amazing. One of my favorite cave tracks in any Final Fantasy game, but. Yeah, we now have Lena and Gallif in our party, and I'm going to end the episode right here. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. And in the next episode, we're going to explore this cave on our way to the Wind Shrine. This is Vettel121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.